Hi, I'm Tim from Experimental RC. In my previous video, I talked a bit about the Kawande effect and also touched briefly on how it can be used to build a Kawande craft. A Kawande craft is basically a type of vertical and takeoff airplane with a body shaped kind of like a flying saucer with, and it would have a fan mounted to the top. Now, according to the Kawande effect, uh, the fan would create a high speed jet which would cling to the surface of the body of the aircraft uh, and create a high speed film of air which is then dispersed below. Um, there's a number of reasons this would be more advantageous than a traditional tail sitter VTOL. Uh, first and foremost, um, one of the main problems with uh, tail sitter vertical takeoff and landing aircraft is that during vertical descent they're difficult to control and they become very unstable. Now uh, an aircraft like that, the thrust is released or the air uh, being moved is released directly below the center of the aircraft. Uh, now on something like this, the air would be released around the center uh, because remember it's creating a high speed film on the whole surface and uh, coming off the bottom. So it's released, it's released below uh, and around the center of the gravity obviously. And uh, that would probably make it a lot more stable. Now also this would be easier to control because you could implement vanes which actually uh, move as part of the surface of the aircraft and that would redirect the airflow that's following the uh, surface as according to the Kwande effect. Now those are some advantages. Also uh, if you look at the design there's a lot more room for cargo. Um, it's a lot more economical in that sense uh, that you could store stuff. There's plenty of room in here um, compared to a tail sitter where you have to obviously uh, make the surfaces as small as possible to decrease drag so there's less room for stuff. Um, but a lot of people actually suggest that putting a body shaped like this underneath the propeller will actually increase the amount of thrust being generated from the propeller. They claim that it does this through a number of reasons. Some people suggest maybe it engages a larger volume of air uh, because the Kwande effect uh, sticks to the surface or something like that. Uh, other people claim that there's actually a slight pressure uh, on the surface in the direction of the air because remember according to the Kwande effect a convex surface is attracted to the jet of air so they claim that that might actually pull the craft in an upwards direction increasing thrust. Now today in this video I'm going to be doing a quick experiment to find out whether putting something like this uh, underneath the propeller actually increases thrust in any way. Okay, so here I've constructed a test jig that I'm going to be using to uh, take a comparative measurement of the thrust being created by the propeller with and without the salad bowl, the Kwande craft. Uh, so basically what I have here is a digital scale capable of measuring the passive resistance of Earth's gravitational force on objects. Uh, but we're going to be using it to take a comparative measurement of thrust in this situation. Um, up here I have a fixed magnet brushless motor that is attached with a thermoplastic adhesive to this carbon fiber reinforced polymer tube. Uh, it's all very scientific as you can see, so we're hoping to get some, uh, some very advanced testing results here today. So we're going to start off by taking a measurement of the thrust that's being created by the propeller on its own. So that test gave us a peak thrust of 540 grams. Now let's run the same test with the Kwande craft in place. So the peak thrust being created by the system with the Kwande craft in place was only 418 grams, far less than the 520 being created by the motor and propeller alone. Uh, because the difference is so big, I feel fairly confident saying uh, that based on this test, a Kwande craft doesn't actually increase the amount of thrust being created. Um, however, there are variables we didn't consider, for example, the size of the propeller, the distance from the propeller to the top of the craft, and the exact parabolic curvature of the craft itself. Also, maybe harps turned on today, who knows. Um, but just because the difference was so big, I think we can fairly confidently say that this myth is busted. Uh, my next step in my creation of a vertical takeoff and landing Kwande craft is going to be to do some prototyping. So stay tuned for that. There will probably be crashes. There will. For sure. See you then.